When should you worry that your house isn't selling? Here in the Morristown, Hamlin County area, the average time on the market for most homes is going to be 45 days or less. The median time on the market is usually around 15 to 20 days. So that is going to be your number one indicator. If you hit the 30 day mark of being on the market and you're not getting showings, you are getting showings at a regular basis, but you're not getting any offers. And if your realtor is not getting phone calls asking questions about the listing, then more than likely you need to worry about your home not selling. That's the point when most people are going to look at doing a price reduction. Once your home has been on the market for 30 days, if you're not getting offers, you're not getting showings, that means that people don't see that your home is worth what you're asking for it. Now, I will put the caveat in there that if you have a half million dollar home or above, the 30 day mark is not etched in stone. Typically, we're going to say about 60 days on those homes because it does take a little longer to get the marketing information out to those out of state buyers to get the interest there for them to come in and schedule a showing. But if you have a home here in Morristown, Hamlin County, and you're not getting any kind of showings, you're not getting offers within 30 days, you need to sit down with your realtor and have a conversation about that. I have preached for a year, year and a half, that if you price your home properly to begin with, then you're going to be getting it under contract within a two to three week time frame. So why do homes not sell quickly? Why would people not want to come look at your house? A lot of times it's going to be that you are overpriced. Sometimes it's going to be poor marketing. So again, I preach about professional photography. If your agent is taking cell phone photos and putting those on the MLS, they're not going to show as well against houses where the agent has hired a professional photographer. Trust me, I get it. iPhones, Android phones, they take great photos, but it's not going to compare to when a professional comes in, they have the correct lighting, they have the correct camera, they're using the right pixels, they know the right angles. Your home is just not gonna show as well to people using cell phone photos. Another thing that can happen is your agent puts it on the MLS, but they put 30 exterior photos before you ever see the inside of that house. I looked at one yesterday, and I mean, like, you're sitting here just clicking, 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 not even paying attention to the photos, trying to see what does the inside of this house look like. So it's not just the quality of the photos, it's the order of the photos. You want those first five pictures to really showcase and highlight the best five features of your home. That's what's going to grab that buyer's attention. So when your listing goes live, make sure that you're reviewing the photos of it and reach back out to your agent and say, hey, we need to cut some of these exteriors and put them on the end. I want people to see this gorgeous kitchen that I just paid to have remodeled, or I want people to see that master bath within the first five pictures. That's very important. So if you have overpriced your home, you need to make adjustments quickly on that. I would tell you that if you have a home here in Hamlin County and you are priced below $400,000, if you don't have a showing in the first two weeks, you're overpriced. And that's a hard reality for some people to face, but pricing is king and pricing overcomes all objections. If you don't have an agent who's having those tough conversations with you about where your home needs to be priced in the market, you might want to have a conversation with them and sit them down and say, hey, I don't think this is working out because you're not getting the showings that you need. Now, I am having a seller success seminar here on February the 20th. If you're thinking about selling your home in 2024, I would love for you to come and join me for the evening. We're going to go from 530 to 7. I will feed you while you're here. And we're going to talk about things like pricing your home correctly, what repairs should you do and what repairs should you not do before you put your home on the market? What staging do you need to do? 
So if you're thinking about selling, I would love to have you come be a part of that. Seating is limited. So I will put a link down in uh, the comment section so you can go online and register for the seminar. Again, that's going to be next Tuesday from 530 to 7.